Hello everybody, this is Jason. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. I post content related with WebRTC, JavaScript and Golang. If this interests you, please hit that subscribe button and stay updated. In today's video, uh, I'm going to show you how to build a WebRTC many to many broadcasting with Pion, Ion, SFU and JavaScript. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, it, if you haven't seen my last video on uh, one too many, uh, please go and check that out first. Okay, because we're going to base the code um, with that project. Okay, so firstly, uh, we're going to clone the code from um, that project. We'll leave uh, the link to this project uh, down below. Okay, uh, it is recommended, you know, you go and see my last video. Um, so you know, you know, exactly how the other part goes. Okay, and then we're going to put this into, let's rename this, eh, when we get it. So we'll go ion uh, mini to mini. All right, let's wait till that finishes. Okay, finally. All right, let's get into that directory to mini. Okay, and let's open that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, these, these are a few modification, okay, we need to do. Okay, the first one is we're going to change the HTML file. It's actually really, really minimal, okay, you have to do, then you, you get a many to many. Instead of doing this video, um, what you call it, uh, we're going to use, we, we won't need this publish. Um, actually, we will use the publish as our index. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this delete the index file because that was the subscriber okay if you've seen the last video and we just rename this into index okay uh, instead of displaying this um, one video um, element okay we're going to replace that with a couple of divs okay what well, the first div is our local um, video okay that's going to display our own um, stream and another div for uh, the remote videos okay that's where everyone else is joins this room okay so next we go into our js file we will do some modification to this and then we do some testing all right the first thing uh, we're going to do here is we're going to replace these two okay the public publish and the what do you call it um and a subscriber video okay since now it's a diff okay so we we just replace these okay local video is the first one okay we're referring to uh, this guy here okay and the next one we're going to do is we're going to do remote videos okay that's all we need to change in here and then uh, we will go down to here where it says here we go the start we will rename this okay uh we are oh, sorry we, we will put a, a variable create a variable okay that's what we're doing here uh element video element okay we're going to document dot create element okay and we want the video element okay that's what we're going to do okay and then down here we're going to replace all these where it says public okay if you're on visual studio code just push uh if you're on a mac control d Okay, just go all the way down. Uh, start that again, eh? Control D. Okay, and we're going to change this into video EL. Okay, that's what this is. Okay, so we're referring to this element now. Okay, uh, once we're done, what we need to do is we're going to need to append this into the trial into the trial of the local video diff we refer up here, which is called pub video. Okay, is our local. Okay, so what we do is pub video dot a pin trial. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we <coughs> we put this into it. Okay, and that will add a new video element into this diff. Okay, we need this twice. Okay, which is down here. We will do the same thing. Okay, public video which is the diff and we're putting this video element uh, since we uh, what do you call it uh, we put a variable outside this loop so we can access this um, video element okay from both of these okay and that, that is done believe it or not for publisher okay now we go to the on track on track we need to do the same thing as well okay what we're going to do on on track we're just going to copy and paste that because i mean it's 
essentially doing the same thing okay so we put a new video element here and let's rename all of these guys uh, into video element okay done easy isn't it now we need to append again uh, with the remote video okay we do it down here uh, we go remote uh, what do we call it sorry uh, sub video sub video dot append child <coughs> again video and that is pretty much it okay but we're going to add one more thing on there because at the moment uh this is kind of buggy with the on track because um we need to add one uh one thing on top uh so it doesn't you know uh, what do you call it uh it doesn't create new elements when we get an audio track because every connection we get two tracks one audio and one video okay if we leave it as it is we're going to see some really strange stuff. We get two windows and it just keeps on going on and on, you know. So what we need to do is we need to put a if statement here. If track dot kind equals video, then we do all this, okay. Otherwise, we, we don't do it, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this inside this, okay. And now, uh, because we're doing multi, um, what do you call it? Uh, multi, uh, many to many. So that means when this guy goes, okay, we need to remove him. How do we identify him? Okay, therefore, we need to add an ID. So uh, on on track, whenever like um, you display this, we put an ID on there. The reason being is we, we know which one to remove, okay, when he goes. Otherwise, we have no idea, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a ID on the moment, you know, we act the track and we want that to be equals ID, okay, because we get this um, from the WebRTC um, API, okay, we do get this track ID, you know, you see that here, okay, we print it up here already, okay, and then on here we get an event when we remove, okay, so what we're going to do here um, is once again, we only remove okay if the kind equals uh to video okay sorry we access this track okay we have to put an e which is the events okay we get this um from from the on remove track uh, events from the api okay so when someone leaves this will get trigger okay if it's a video uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the um the video element okay of this person is leaving okay so we remove removes the right person okay document dot get element id and we're going to get it from e dot track dot id okay and then we run this guy here and let's put that in here all right put that there and we are not doing anything in here this time okay we're doing remote Oh, sorry, what, what do we call that again? Sorry, I've got bad memory. Sub video, okay? Let's remove this guy. We don't need to do that because we're going to like ditch the whole element. So remove trial and we pass this remove video in. And guess what? This is it. We need too many. Let's do some testing. Okay, sorry, I just noticed something. We've missed something here because this won't play. Um, uh, due to the browser uh, privacy thing so we better put a put the control on okay so we can turn the thing on automatically okay we'll put that on and we'll turn that into true okay and also i have noticed this as well this is wrong okay it should be sub video all right so okay that that is it moment of truth as usual okay let's uh start up our ion sfu i already have it here okay um what you need to do it's been compiled as well uh, once again yeah watch the first video it, it's going to help you understand all this okay so we're just going to kick that up okay this is done and then we're just going to yarn start okay uh, let's bring this in here we can see this and another thing is i'll turn off my speaker otherwise we'll get that horrible um what you call it echo okay let's bring up another client all right test it public publish camera and 
that's what I mean. If we don't show the control, this will not play because we have not clicked any button on this browser. Okay, so if we play, yep, here we go. It works, and then we publish it back, and we get it. Okay, and let's bring in another couple of pairs. Okay, make sure you know it does. It is a mini too mini. <laughs> All right, we publish that. Okay, we've got one, two, three, and we've got one, two, three. Okay, and let's do one more. Uh, here we go. We need to play these manually because we haven't clicked any anything on this browser. Okay, do it again. All right, this is mini too mini. So and let's try it when someone goes if it removes okay remember we've got one two three four okay we've got four windows here he's gone and then we've got one two three okay and one two three one two three okay we have just um created a mini to mini conference okay with um ion sfu and plain javascript okay and all you need to do is really grab the source uh, change the style and you have a conference app all right if you like this video please hit that like button because it means a lot for me and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and until next time thanks for your time all right bye bye